Good morning, guys. It's Vlogmas Day 13. So, here is a most thing post to you. And should you remember that it's the anniversary of my birth, remember that you were loved by me and you made my life a happy one. And there's no tragedy in that. James Thurston. It's so cold outside, it's like frosty outside. And there's Bobby. If you can see him. Where is he? Oh, he's disappeared inside my dad's room. Is he coming in here? Hi, Bobby. Come here. Bobby. Bobby. Guarantee he'll jump out from the couch. What are you doing? Come and say hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Yeah. It's finally winter, folks. Look at that. And you'll lose Bobby in the snow. Look at how wintery it is. It's so pretty. So pretty and so wintery. Finally. And what are we? We're like. 12 days away from Christmas and I find it's wintry. So I only actually have two more videos to upload and I will do that when I come back in. Um, my hair is straight. I do actually have makeup on today for like the first time in forever. I just have a bit of eyeliner, mascara and I filled in my brows which I need to pluck. But look at my new bedding which is from Asda and it was 12 quid. And I am matchy matchy with Zoe Alfie which is really nice. And uh, the sheet under it's red, which is nice. So yeah, I'm very Christmassy in my room. I'm actually going to watch Arthur once I come up um, with Russell Brand and upload some more videos and finish my script and maybe start my essay. So yeah, and then it's college tomorrow. So yeah, much fun. And plus X Factor final thing. Oh. I am too tired for life. Like, I don't even know what is. I was like, what is blue? And then I realised what it was. This bedding is so pretty. I just look so tartan. I just look like I'm even more Scottish and look, I look like a chipmunk. It's very much not flattering. It's caused my hairs up. It's when my hair's down, it looks slightly more flattering. Yeah. Um. I'm tired. We, as a family, have been knackered for days now. Oh, there we go. We've been knackered for days now and we have no clue why. So, God only knows. I don't know why I'm knackered. I don't know why anyone else in this house is knackered. We shouldn't be knackered. But yet, here we are. We're knackered. As you can tell, I'm trying to get a very good angle. Look at your monk. It's like... All you just get is boobage, because that's all. <laughs> I don't know why this is really amusing. <laughs> I don't know what is amusing about this. <laughs> but yeah, so the X Factor final is tonight, and hopefully Louisa wins. Fingers crossed for Louisa. Um, my videos are live, and I have. I am completely 100% up to date with all videos as for this vlog and <laughs> my top 10 Christmas movies we will find out in a couple of hours when I decide to upload them. I can't upload them right now because the broadband's going to be really bad so I'm going to wait until tonight and the first thing I'm going to upload would possibly be this vlog because this is I don't know because my other one's like really long so I don't know whether to start uploading that now because it's a really long one. It's my Christmas movies and it takes ages because it's like 12 minutes long which is really long. So yeah I don't know if that's going to take the longest to upload but yeah so I'm just rambling for two minutes but I've got nothing better to do. I'm going to go down and have a cigarette and then I might just lie in the bed. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe watch another movie. I just watched Arthur and it made me cry. 
I don't know why all these movies... Seeing movies with deaths of old people now just make me cry. And they never really used to make me cry any before. But when Helen Mirren died, I think everybody cries. Because Helen Mirren's the most amazing person in the world. And she has an inspiration for every actor. Look how Christmassy my room, my room looks. With the bedding, the Christmas tree, which I still don't have the lights on it. I should probably put the lights on. I could put the lights on the tree, I think. And then go down for a cigarette and come back up. I should probably write my script because I need it for tomorrow. Wow. I also have logbook one to do. Mm, life. So much. Hello, I'm back. I said I would be back till. Oh, this looks so nice. Anyway, I said I would be back, but to the X Factor, but the life of not an actor. But a script right, a screenwriter. The life of a screenwriter. Um see the thing is, right, I assume screenwriters like Mark Gates, Stephen Moffat, other screenwriters, Simon Pegg, for example, they all have people to read it out to them. Like what they write. Maybe their their partners or their kids or depending on how kid friendly it is, or someone else that can read it out and see if it sounds right. I don't have that. Because, I don't, it's, especially when you're writing something that is maybe, you know, a bit rated R, you don't exactly want your parents to read it out. It's just awkward. So, I don't know if this sounds right. Hence why, do you know, I went went to class and I'm putting it as part of the showcase, and which you guys will see in February if I remember to vlog it. And, uh, so this page doesn't look that bad with changes, do you know what I mean? Not that bad. This page though, however, full on changes. Not only am I changing the the, the majority of, of the scene, but I am actually changing the names. Not, like, I, I mean, I don't mind changing the names. Ariel is kind of a wee bit meh. A bit too, I'm living in the past of, I still wish that there was a character on Torchwood that was made by me. I think I'm, I'm still wishful dreaming. But I, I am, it's, it's so hard because now I'm doubting myself and it's not Becca's fault, it's not James's fault. They, they cri not criticised me, but it was it was constructive criticism and I, I, I'm glad they did it because imagine if I'd just gone in with really a shitty piece and that would have not really helped my dreams of moving to London to do film next year. Well, I say it's next year, I say it's in a couple of weeks. Not that I'm going moving away, but I, I, the next year starts in a couple of weeks, which is even scarier. Um, as I was saying, I, I just, I'm struggling now. I'm doubting myself and I need to stop doubting myself. But I feel the minute I stop doubting myself is the minute some things become shit because I'm too confident. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think of an argument. And they, do you know what's the worst thing? See, writers... You should write about things that have happened to you and put them into scenarios. Why I'm writing about a teacher-student relationship when I haven't even had an actual relationship, I don't know. I'm, I'm pushing it out too far. I'm kind of exceeding my own expectations in a bad way. Like I, I'm, I'm pushing to the limit of that I don't have, like that I don't even know what I'm trying to say. And I'm rambling for three minutes, but you know, and. Um, I think this is going to be the longest I've vlogged in about a week. Um, it's been it's been one of those weeks. You, you had nothing to do and, and I was going shopping for a whole day. And I, you know, you don't want to be going around Bray Head like vlogging. Because in Scotland, people don't really understand vlogging. It's great going to a college that we're performing arts because people do understand you and you get fun. So tomorrow, hopefully, if I remember, there will be fun. I'm just coming in a bit later. but Oh, well. I'll be back. Probably after the X Factor to tell you who won. You'll probably know who won, but I, I, I'll come back after the X Factor. Possibly. Maybe. I think I will. I don't know. I'm still rambling for 3 and 42. I'm very excited. Just that Christmas is a couple of days away. Well, not a couple of days away, like a week or so away, but it's still good. And I need to go now and try and finish this script for tomorrow. Louisa, 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 Louisa. So as you probably know by now, Louisa won the X Factor. I'm so happy. I got so emotional during the One Direction's last live performance. Then was full on like Adele. 
Oh, so happy. So happy with either one. Not that Reggie and Bully weren't good, but like entertainment wise, they're brilliant, but vocally. But who am I to judge? <laughs> but still Adele. Adele is literal. She's my bae. She's my actual bae. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Bye!